Hello friends, welcome to Fun Learning, where we are back with our squaring segment, where we are giving you tips on how you can calculate the squares of numbers without using a calculator, but yet in a few seconds. So please go through our videos where we have walked you through calculation of squares for numbers ending in 5, numbers ending in 6, number ending in 7 and numbers ending in 8. And in this video, we are going to take you through the way to calculate squares for number ending in 9 without a calculator and yet to be completed in just a few steps in a few seconds. So let's get started. So now we we'll look at squaring of numbers ending in the number 9. Now let's look for an example. Let's take 29 square which is equal to 29 times 29 and let's find out how much that is using our formula. Now for 29, let's take a note of what comes before and after that. So this is our number line. So we know that 30 is the nearest 10 to 29. Now let's consider 29 as n because it will be easy for us to formulate as we go ahead. So the objective here is to come to the nearest 10 and then do operations here so that we can get the answer quickly. So there are two steps that need to be completed to get the calculation of 29 square or any number ending in 9. Let's look at step 1. For step 1, what we should do is we should go to the nearest tens that will be n plus 1 and then square it. So in this case, it is 29 plus 1 that is 30 and then square this number. Now it is easy to square 30 which is 30 times 30. First, you consider both the zeros and write the zero below and then 3 times 3 which is equal to 9. So 900 is the answer to the first step. Now let's look at the second step and here what you need to do is you need to add 29 and the number after 29 that is 30 together which is n plus n plus 1 which is equal to 29 plus 30 as we just spoke which is equal to 59. Now what you need to do is you need to subtract the step 1 answer from step 2 answer that is equal to 900 minus 59 which will give us 841 which is the answer to 29 square. Isn't it easy? Look it up in the calculator and you will see that this is the right answer. Let's try another example of squares of numbers ending in 9. Let's take a slightly bigger number like 59. So 59 square is 59 times 59. Let's find out what this answer is. So again with 59's position let me find what is before and after 59. So I have my nearest 10 at 60. So here 59 is n. It's a main focus area. So let's do the step 1 which is n plus 1 square that is equal to 60 square which is nothing but 60 times 60. All you need to do is add the two zeros as there are two zeros multiplied and then get 6 square or multiply 6 times 6 which is 36 which is our step 1 answer. For step 2 we need to add 59 and the number after 59 together that is n plus n plus 1 which is equal to 59 plus 60 which is 119. Now all you need to do is subtract step 2 from step 1 which is 3600 minus 119 which gives us the answer of 3481. Pick up your calces, check for this answer and you will be satisfied with our result. Well, let's try a three digit squaring of number ending in 9. So our number is 119 square. This is equal to 119 times 19. Oh, it looks like a really big calculation. So let's find out. As per our rule, let's plot 119 on the number line with what comes before and after. So we have the nearest 10 to be 120. Now let's just mark 119 as our main n. Let's go for our step 1 which is n plus 1 square that is squaring the nearest 10 which is 120 in this case. So I square 120. The way to square it is 120 times 20 which will equal to add two zeros in the end and then 12 times 12 which is 144. So our step 1 answer is 14400. So here you need to do the square for the tens place of the given number. 
Now let's look at step 2. Step 2 is adding n to n plus 1. That is 119 added to 120, the number just after it. So which gives us 239. Now you know the drill, it is just to subtract step 2 from step 1, which is 14,400 minus 239, which gives us 14161. This is the answer. Try it on the calculator and verify it. Now, just like 9, 1 also has a similar approach. Click on the next video and you will see how you can also calculate the squares of numbers ending in 1. So, I hope you liked this session. Please do like and subscribe to this channel and do write in to us at funlearningcoach at gmail.com with your suggestions. Till we meet again, take care.